Okay, continuing on, we're looking at the higher level details of transcription. Previously, we went all through, we went through all of this, and we found out that uh, the five to three prime direction is important. That the two DNA strands can be referred to as the sense strand and the anti sense strand. It is a sense strand that has actually uh, has the same sequence of bases, but it's the anti sense strand is the one that is actually used as a template for transcription. Did I say that too fast? Uh, Go back, slow that, slow that down if you need to. I don't know how. Do they have that function on YouTube? But anyways, here, we're taking a look at the same thing. Now here, it's a black and white diagram. All diagrams that you see on an exam will be black and white. In a textbook or online, they'll be in color. But you should be able to understand just by looking at the five prime and three prime directions and knowing uh, which direction this RNA polymerase is going to travel. So what do you need to know here? Uh, there's something called a promoter and this is very very important to uh, understand in general how um, transcription works and how we get information from DNA and actually turn it into something useful so the promoter is a base sequence on the sense strand that causes RNA polymerase to actually bind so the RNA polymerase actually recognizes that this is the beginning of an important gene so we're not going to go and transcribe the entire chromosome we're just going to transcribe the part that is relevant this is how cells specialize and differentiate so we only have to transcribe genes that help a particular cell do its specific job it's not going to transcribe every single gene for every single function of every possible cell um, cell type in the body right so here's the RNA polymerase and it's joined up here. It's this teardrop shaped thing. We know it's going to start moving to the right, but can you figure out, is it this top strand that will be used as a template or is it the bottom strand that we will be used as a template? And don't look down here. Okay. That's cheating because RNA polymerase can only build in the five prime to three prime direction. It looks like it's only going to be able to use the bottom strand if we're going to the right. So RNA polymerase has dual function. It's going to separate the strands, do a little bit of unzipping, and it's going to start RNA synthesis by using the bottom strand as a template, as you can see here. Okay, free bases that are around and the fancy name for these bases, because remember, uh, if you've got like A's, T's and C's and G's down here, um, that are already on the DNA strand where I'm going to need I'm going to need some uh, some G's some C's uh, some A's and some U's that are floating around here so I can start sequencing them together matching uh, by the complementary base sequence down here so the fancy name for these free flowing these bases that are being collected and drawn into here are called uh, nucleoside triphosphates what a mouthful they're used by the RNA polymerase to actually extend this chain. And then this RNA strand is, is growing and you can see um, it runs, it's being built in the five to three prime direction. That's why we have to use this bottom side, bottom side here. What is going on with that? My mouse is going crazy. Anyways, let's take a look. What's this over here? Uh, the top we've already identified from the previous video. The top is the sense strand because its sequence, its base sequence will exactly match that of the mRNA molecule. And the one that is being used as a template will be the, the lower strand here, which is called the, the anti-sense strand. That is the part that is actually going to be transcribed. Oh, frustrating. Okay, if we come down here, eventually this becomes detached and this detached mRNA molecule is going to eventually go to a ribosome and that's a translation, that's in the next few videos. But uh, here, this transcribed RNA is at this point modified and how is it modified? It, a few things may be cut out and we call these introns. This, I'm not going to go into too much right now, but the introns are kind of, think of them as intruding sequences of letters that don't help to actually produce the actual protein that we need. So it needs to be cut out a little bit. Think of it like there's a little bit of redundancy built in just in case there were some errors in copying. That's okay. Those parts were going to be removed anyway. So a little bit of snipping 
goes on and this gets edited or modified and the final thing will go out to the ribosomes to actually uh, be translated into a protein and the RNA polymerase I should have mentioned this earlier but the RNA polymerase is not going to remember we said it's not going to transcribe the entire chromosome right it's only going to transcribe the gene that is needed so eventually that gene will have an end and so that end is often um, signified by a terminator sequence terminator it's a base sequence that causes rna polymerase to detach stop unzipping and stop actually transcribing so all of this together is uh, what produces the mrna molecule so quick question i'm gonna i'm just gonna zoom ahead but pause right here if you don't want me to tell the answer really quick so which base is connected to its complementary base in a base pair by three hydrogen bonds. Just we're trying to remember these. Remember, A and T make two hydrogen bonds. C and G make three hydrogen bonds. But if we're going to replace uh, something, well, which one of these is left over? A and T, two hydrogen bonds. No, U is replacement for T, so no. So the answer has to be C for this one. Another quick question. Where does the RNA polymerase enzyme bind during the process of transcription? It is going to bind at the do you remember? Right over here, it's the promoter sequence right there. Okay, the promoter. And here's a cool little animation. You can stop the video if you're not interested here. I'll post, the, I'll, oh, you can see the little link right here, but really, really cool. This is just about perfect for a higher level as well too. So can I play this? No, I cannot. You have to go visit this link yourself. Or shall I do it with you? Let's see, is this gonna work? Internet Explorer. What does that pop up? Never use that. Get that link, get that link. Okay, oops. Please don't crash. Maybe I'll edit this, maybe I won't. Oh, it's gone. Okay, never mind. Bye bye.